Dan Moskal here, and in this video we are going to put a Google AdSense advertisement on our WordPress website using, we're going to put it in as a widget, and we're just going to go through that easy process. So this is the website that we're working on, it's related to credit, this is an affiliate marketing link, and then we're going to put our Google AdSense advertisement in the sidebar here, and uh, we're going to stick it in between these two related articles and recent posts. So, we're going to go over to our AdSense account. We've already logged in. We're going to do a new ad unit. And we're going to do a size 250 by 250 because we know that is kind of the size we want and that'll fit. So, name, we're going to do side. This is really just for your use. And uh, we're working on this site with a partner of ours. And we're actually going to assign it a custom channel. You don't really have to do this, and I'm still kind of experimenting with it. But if you want, you can put in your URL as a custom channel. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And then this is actually where you get to choose the style of your advertisement. Here's kind of a um, preview of what it would look like. And you can use custom settings if you want. I'd usually just use the default. I don't. I know if somebody's tested that and really can say one way or another, please let me know. But my thought is if you're confusing people to click on your advertisement, like at some point your AdSense earnings are going to go down because it's not good traffic. Like if people know it's an ad and they say, yeah, you know, that interests me, and then they go and sign up for that product or service, then you've got good traffic versus like I've heard that it makes sense to kind of. Uh, blend it with your website and I don't know I guess I just I don't want to confuse folks and have them accidentally click on an ad because after a while that's just bad traffic that you're sending and I've been an AdSense advertiser so you know like <laughs> there are some websites that send you really bad traffic I don't want to be one of them and there are uh, advertisers that'll reward like I used to go in and I would reward not in a sense that I'd reward them, but good traffic, I'd be willing to spend a lot more money for that traffic than, you know, a ton of bad traffic. So advertisers, the other side of the AdSense is what I'm talking about. The people that are paying AdSense and then AdSense shares that revenue with you. Like they can see where their traffic's coming from and they can tell if it's good traffic or bad traffic, like if it ultimately leads into a conversion or not. So anyways, this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab this code, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to stick it in as a widget. And we're going to put that in the primary sidebar on our WordPress theme. We're going to put it between the related posts and the recent posts, and we are just going to paste it in here. We're going to click Save, and it's going to take I'll time it. It's 3.08 right now, and uh, it'll take, I think, about 10 or 15 minutes. Google AdSense is really great because they'll look at the content on each page that you have on your website and display a relevant advertisement. So, for example, this one's about prepaid debit cards. Here's another article about first-time home buyers with bad credit. I would think that that would be different advertisements because some people are trying to well, maybe not anymore, but, you know, for a long time there, <laughs> you know, a few years ago, this would probably be hugely profitable. Uh, AdSense advertisement, just home buying in general, or mortgages, uh, investments, some of the bigger industries, um, like retirement, 401ks, think about the baby boomer population. If you're just getting started with this stuff or uh, would like some more tips, I've created a uh, SEO free report. It's a full 16 pages. Visit danmoskeluniversity.com and sign up for my newsletter and I'll send it over to you free. It also contains an SEO checklist to go through when you're adding new content to your website. Um, and there's a whole, I'll show you exactly what I do because there's plenty of real estate out there even still uh, almost 2014, especially like local stuff. We've been working with a client here with a local mental health therapy practice and local SEO is like the gold rush right now. Uh, national SEO you still got to mine and 
there's still plenty of gold and gold little markets out there without a doubt uh, some things are bigger picture though you know like <laughs> some some keywords you know it would take you a decade to get on the first page like music <laughs> or uh, clothing or something I don't think those are even terms you'd want to get ranked for so anyways uh, especially with all the other easier more profitable things um, this is Dan Moskal visit Dan Moskal University leave any questions or comments you have be happy to uh, I'm here to help so please leave any questions or personal uh, problems below I'd Love to hear from you and check out some other YouTube videos. Visit Dan Moskal University. I've also got a book over at Amazon you can grab. So have a great afternoon and looking forward to talking to you soon.